welcome to everyone now we move on to the next uh, bit of uh, preparation of uh, carboxylic acids by using nitriles i think all of you know friends uh, nitriles are nothing but uh, cyanides yes how to prepare carboxylic acid from alkyl cyanides or either alkyl nitriles it's a very simple reaction i think all of you know this uh, nitrile is a r c triple bond then we call is a alkyl cyanide or alkyl nitrile also and this alkyl nitrile is undergoes acid hydrolysis friends is keep in your mind it undergoes acid hydrolysis h plus and oh minus the cleavage of this pi bonds the cleavage of this pi bond in the component rc this is a double bond o this is a double bond o and what it remains the two hydrogen is combined with the n this is your nh2 name of this compound alkyl amide this is your amide is formed yes and finally once again it undergoes hydrolysis this amide is once again undergoes hydrolysis this is an h2 it means once again h plus and oh minus and this h is combined here the formation of the compound is an ammonia gas now ammonia is formed what it remains oh is remain the oh is attached to the carbon now rc double bond already this is your oh the name of this compound is a carboxylic acid a very simple reaction i repeat friends when alkyl cyanide undergoes acid hydrolysis to form amides and further it undergoes hydrolysis to form your carboxylic acid keep in your mind here also it is h plus and oh minus this h is combined here the oh is combined from your component yes let us consider an example for this reaction yes we have an ch3 c triple bond n name of this compound is methyl cyanide in nitrile this is ethane nitrile two carbon atoms we call is ethane nitrile or methyl cyanide undergoes The same friends acid hydrolysis h plus and oh minus yes the formation of the compound is a ch3 c this is your double bond o this is your nh the name of this compound is acetamide or ethanamide also we have to pronounce with the two carbon is ethanamide or acetamide it it undergoes hydrolysis this is h plus and oh minus we know the release of ammonia gas this is an nh3 release what it remains ch3 c double bond o this is a ch3 c double bond o and oh from here this is your oh ch3 coh commonly we call acetic acid if you want to know ipac is ethanoic acid this is a simple preparation of a carboxylic acid from corresponding nitrile friends if you want to know the another reactions so we can use it to prepare your component is and another example is aromatic and now you have to consider is in a benzene is attached with this c this is called cyano benzene this is cyano benzene when the cyano benzene is undergoes the same acid hydrolysis friends the name of this compound is benzene as it is the c this is your carbon keep in your mind and this is a c double bond o nh2 all of you know the compound is a benzamide and then benzamide undergoes hydrolysis release of ammonia first you have to write this is an ammonia in h3 release what it remains benzene c double bond o and oh this is your benzene c double bond o this is your oh the next compound is benzoic acid very simple preparation of carboxylic acid from nitrile friends i repeat when alkyl cyanide undergoes acid hydrolysis to form amide or alkyl amides it undergoes hydrolysis to form corresponding carboxylic acid the very important to release 
the ammonia gas. Let's consider an example. One is a methyl cyanide to form ethanamide or acetamide and it is stick acid. Similarly, cyanobenzene, the benzene is CN attached to the cyanobenzene is undergoes acid hydrolysis to form benzamide, it undergoes hydrolysis to form benzoic acid. It's a very simplest reaction to preparation of carboxylic acids by using it either nitriles or another name cyanides. And keep practicing with the different example friends. Yes, in the place of ethane nitrile, you can use propane nitrile to form propanamide, propionic acid. A very simple methods of preparation of carboxylic acids. You keep practicing. This is a very important for example of you. You keep practicing for this preparation of carboxylic acid from nitriles. Is a very, 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 very important part of our syllabus. Apart from this, and then now we want the next bit of preparation as a very important in this chapter, friends, is from GR. I think all of you know what is the meaning of a GR. GR stands for Grignard reagent. Yes, what is a Grignard reagent? Yes, anybody? Yes, Grignard is nothing but is R. MgX means alkyl magnesium halide is nothing but Grignard reagent. How to prepare this carboxylic acids by using Grignard reagent, friends? Very simplest is RMgX. This is your shortcut. I have right this GR. When it react with this compounds, very important C double bond O double bond O means CO2. What is CO2? Carbon dioxide commonly. We call it is an triplase or another name solid carbon dioxide. Keep in your mind, very important. Dry ice or either solid carbon dioxide. You know, in PUC first year, friends, it is used in the preparation or creation of an artificial clouds. And so, what is the use of dry ice? Which is used to the creation of an artificial clouds. This is a very simple. Now, here, Grignard reagent is react with the dry acid. It is the first is an addition reaction, it is very simple. And this R C double bond O friends. And once it combined, here it is a O M G X. We call it is an addition product. After this addition product, it undergoes a hydrolysis, especially acid hydrolysis, H plus and H minus. Now what happens? Very simple, the CH is attacking to this oxygen. And OH is supposed to here. Now you write first Mg, this is X, this is your OH, and what it remains here is R C double bond O OH. This is your carboxylic acid. A wonderful reaction of our syllabus. When Grignard reagent is addition with solid carbon dioxide to form an addition product which undergoes acid hydrolysis to form our priority is carboxylic acid. It's a wonderful reaction for our syllabus. We consider an example of it to keep in your mind. SSEH3MG I think all of you know the name of this compound. Methyl magnesium. Methyl magnesium bromide is react with once again your compound is trahis. The form an addition product is CH3, C double bond O, this is O M G B R. It's an addition product. And finally it undergoes acid hydrolysis, H plus and H minus. Now you can easy to convert. So this is an cleavage, yes. This com compound is comes to here. You can see OH is easy to form. Or other either you can directly add this H is comes to here. Now this is a formation of CH3, C double bond O, OH, and this is Mg, OH, and now this is your carboxylic acid with two carbon is ethanoic. I repeat, when methyl magnesium bromide is react with 
in your trials to form an addition product which followed by acid hydrolysis to form ethanoic acid. You can use different example for your syllabus. You can use here C2H5 MGBR. And you also know the name of this compound. Ethyl magnesium bromide. React with same in your drives. To form the compound is a C2H5 as it is. You can use C2H5. C double bond O OMG BR. Addition product which undergoes acid hydrolysis H plus and OH minus. Now this is your compound is a C2H5. This is a C double bond O OH and your final byproduct with a 3 carbon. I think all to know propionic acid. This is a very important reaction of our syllabus in carboxylic acid chapter. Preparation of carboxylic acid from your Grignard reagent. Grignard reagent can easy to combine with solid carbon dioxide to form followed by acid hydrolysis is carboxylic acid. We keep practicing with the different Grignard reagent friends. We can get it different carboxylic acid. Keep in your mind it is increasing carbon means here it is addition of one carbon it is increasing in carbon as automatically you can increase in the carbon in carboxylic acid. This is a very important reaction. Today we have you can across friends two reactions. One is preparation of carboxylic acid from nitrites and another one is preparation of carboxylic acid from Grignard region. Both are very important and crucial reaction for your NCRT or either your competitive examination. Keep practicing these two questions in your day to day. Yes, thank you so much. As in the next video, friends, we will continue the part of your preparation of carboxylic acid. Thank you.